Hey everyone, I'm Laura, an occupational therapist and yoga therapist. Today we're going to talk about who is a yoga therapist? What is the process of becoming a yoga therapist? And I think understanding the education that somebody has is really important as a student because that lets you know what you can expect from that person. In the field of healthcare or in wellness, there are so many different specialties that you can go into. So it's important to understand the education of the person that you are working with so you know what to expect from them. It's a very big difference if you go to an orthopedic doctor who specializes in knees or an eye doctor who specializes in cataract surgery. Two completely different things. So you could have yoga teachers who specialized in trauma-informed yoga for veterans with PTSD or you could be going to someone who does women's health retreats for self-development after giving birth. So there is a lot of room to go into different specialties and you want to make sure that you are finding the yoga therapist who's going to meet the needs that you have. But in general, a yoga therapist is somebody who has completed somewhere around 800 to 1,000 hours of training in the application of yoga in understanding illnesses and conditions. And the focus is really on how yoga and the body interact. So there's this constant dynamic process of whatever you're doing on your yoga mat or on your meditation cushion is having an impact on the body but then the state that your body is in is also going to interact with the way that you are practicing. So the yoga therapist is really skilled at examining both of those aspects and figuring out what is going to be the most effective practice for this person that I am creating it specifically for. It's all about that dynamic interaction. So in that 800 to 1000 or so hours of training, there's a lot more time spent studying anatomy. And I'll give you a comparison here. So a, a traditional yoga teacher has about 200 hours of training. The standard class that you go through to become a yoga teacher takes about 200 hours. And under Yoga Alliance, they require 30 hours of that 200 to be about anatomy. And it's a, it's a very basic anatomy training in 30 hours. So when you expand that and you go to the next level to do your training as a yoga therapist, that 800 to 1000 hours is going to have a much larger chunk of time dedicated to understanding the body, the bones, the muscles, all of the organ systems, because each of those have a different interaction with any of the tools and techniques that we might pull in from the yoga practice. So understanding the body helps us to be a lot more specific when we are picking what poses, what meditation techniques, um, what sort of self-development exercises are going to be pulled in that are going to work the best for that individual. So much more education goes into this process of becoming a yoga therapist. And as I mentioned before, it's important to understand your particular therapist's areas of specialty. So everybody is going to do different continuing education and go through a different path of deepening their skills even after that thousand hours. So you might have somebody who specializes in something like lymphedema, which is one of my specialties, working with people who have been through cancer treatment or have maybe experienced venous insufficiency and now they are working on managing fluid and swelling that they get in different parts of the body. So that would be one of my specialties that maybe another yoga therapist would not work on. Um, one of my other specialties is working with individuals that are living with Parkinson's disease because there are some very particular needs to make sure that an individual who has Parkinson's disease is safe on their yoga mat, that they um, are able to keep their balance and um, 
they are taking into consideration that their coordination is a little bit more challenging than um, somebody who doesn't have a neurological condition. So make sure that you understand the education of your yoga therapist. Reading their bio can give you a lot of information. Understanding the credentials that they have after their name so that you know, what can I expect from this person? What are they going to help me with? Do they have the training to help me with the condition that I am experiencing? Once you understand your yoga therapist's area of specialty or you find a therapist who has the specialty that you are looking for, they are going to create a program that is going to pull in all of your goals. So the process of yoga therapy is very interactive between the therapist and the client. It's about a lot of feedback and seeing, well, what do you want out of this process? It's very client-centered in terms of getting that feedback and letting you steer a little bit of where you want this process to go or what you want to get out of it. So throughout that process of getting feedback, the yoga therapist is going to craft a practice that you can do at home um, on a regular basis that is going to meet your goals. So in that way, we say that it is a more prescriptive way of practicing yoga. We're not just going to give you this generalized one size fits all practice that you could go on YouTube and find, or you could you know, pull up a um, book and flip through and find some poses. That is a very generalized way of practicing yoga that is very hit or miss, may or may not be helpful, may or may not cause injury if you're doing things that would work with your physical conditioning. So the skill in being a yoga therapist comes from picking and choosing the things that are going to fit your particular client. So it is a one size fits one kind of situation there. And for people who have injuries or illnesses that they are trying to work around where they can't just walk into any general yoga class at a studio, this one-to-one -one match works very well because you know that if you have a concern, you're going to be able to voice that. If you need something modified, your yoga therapist is going to be right there helping you through that process. So it's a very individualized session that taps into all of that education and all of that experience that your yoga therapist has worked through over usually a course of several years to have a, a deep understanding of yoga, but also a deep understanding of the body and what supports healing. So that is an overview of who is a yoga therapist, what is their education, and if you are interested in finding a yoga therapist, you can go on the International Association of Yoga Therapists website, IAYT. You can look for a yoga therapist that has the CIAYT credentialing after their name. And if you are interested in working with me as a yoga therapist, you can email me at lauragyoga at aol.com or you can send me a direct message through Instagram at lauragyoga for more information. And I look forward to working with you.